everyone, this is Jack. Well, in this video, I'm going to share the gardening chores you must do in December. Now, December is pretty cold, so there's not much you can grow in December, at least in Northern Hemisphere. So, these are the gardening chores that you must do in December to prepare for the next season in spring. So, the very first thing I do is prepare my growing medium and fill my trays. Let me show you how I do that. Come on, Lily, let's go. Come on, let's go. Now to prepare my growing medium, I use a big tote like this one. And I use my old trays from previous season and any leftover potting soil my growing medium goes into the tote. And then I add more potting soil, new fresh potting soil in there. My growing medium consists of 70% potting soil, 20% coconut coir, and 10% compost. I mix my growing medium really well and then I keep it moist so that it doesn't dry out and it keeps retaining moisture. And then I use all of my empty trays and I fill them up so they're ready to grow to plant my seeds in January and February. And this is a really neat trick to do so. I just drop the entire tray into my toe and then I scoop up my growing medium and I dump it into the tray. I use my hand to level off the growing medium throughout the tray and any excess growing medium goes back into the tote. This way there is no mess and I don't lose any growing medium either because growing medium can be very expensive. Now after I fill my trays, I stack them up and now when I'm ready to start my seedlings in January and February, I'll be grabbing my trays from here and I'll be transferring them over on this side where I have the heat max. I'll be planting my seeds in there Keep it moist and have it on warm heat max and they will start to germinate in no time. The next thing you must do in December is to check the viability of your seeds. And I have a really quick and easy method to do so. I'm pretty sure you all have packets of old seeds like I have here. Now this one is from 2021. So let's test the viability of these seeds. Now the very first thing I do is grab some glass jars. I add my seeds in there, about eight to 10 seeds per packet. And then I soak the seeds in water for 24 hours. After soaking the seeds in water for 24 hours, the seeds hydrate. And then I just lay down a paper towel and then drop my seeds along with water onto the paper towel. And then I just fold the paper towel and I add it to a Ziploc bag. The Ziploc helps to retain moisture and humidity for the seeds to germinate. The seeds really don't need the light to start germinating. Just place the seeds inside your house where it's a little bit warmer, about 70 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 21 degrees Celsius. Now the seed's been sitting in the Ziploc bags for about four to five days. So let's open this up and see the germination rate of our seeds. So let me take the first one, the reddish out of here. There you go. You can see all of them have germinated. This means these seeds are viable. Now this is a really quick and easy method to test the germination of your seeds. Now guess what? You can also plant these sprouted seeds in your trays and start growing them into seedlings. Now there's nothing worse than having old seeds and you plant those seeds in your garden and then you just wait, wait, wait and wait and two to three weeks go by, a month goes by and no plants germinate. So you must test the seeds if you have old packets. You must test them to make sure they're good to go for your next planting in spring. Now the third thing you must do in December is to clean your garden tools. Now while you're at it and if you have a dog, give your dog a warm bath as well and Lily here appreciates really nice warm baths. Right Lily? Hey I'm talking to you here. <laughs> right. This is how you can clean your garden tools. Get old garden tools. Fill a bucket with one liter of water and add one liter of vinegar. Submerge the tools for 24 hours. Remove your tools, add baking soda to the scrubber, scrub your tools and rinse with water. Your tools will become sparkling clean. Now, if you're in Southern Hemisphere, check this video on what to grow in summer because that's what you'll be doing in December. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you keep your trays filled to start planting in January and February and you have your gardening tools clean and ready to go. And I'll see you in another video.